Hi, everyone. This video is about the trend of high-power PV module. The development of the solar PV industry is a continuous process of pursuing the lowest LCOE, and we are now at the gate of grid parity. For the PV module manufacturer, the most effective way is to increase the silicon cell area to reduce the unit cost during production. For the end users, increasing the PV power of each string will reduce the cost per watt of the BOS cost including mounting structure, DC cable, etc. Since the launching of the 210mm wafer by Zonghuan, the whole industry has speeded up the product update, mainly about the cell size. Between last December to June, all the major players have released their iconic next-generation products using 182mm and 210mm cells. A lot of astonishing technologies have been applied to those new modules, however, the increasing DC current is the most sensitive parameter for the solar inverters. For the modules over 500 watts, you can find out that the highest short circuit current is less than 14.1 ampere. However, most of the inverters on the market can only support input current less than 12.5 ampere. Goodwe latest HT series can support maximum of 15 ampere DC input current per string which can easily support the application of these leading high-power modules. Also, the leading players have announced their modules above 600 watts, with relatively higher DC current around 18 ampere. Our HT series can support 10 PPT level, maximum 30 ampere DC input current. Meanwhile, fuseless DC input design allows single string input of these modules above 600 watts. To better capable of the trend of the high-power modules, we are now working on developing corresponding inverter products. Please stay tuned to check out the updating video and technical documents or contact us to get more information about it.